What's going on, y'all? Holy shit here. In this video, we're going to see what Nick Stevie Nicks, can do on defense. She was a wizard. Limit broken at 995 attack, 899 defense, and 1674 health points. Her ability is Night Falls. At 1, 2, or 3 times charge, at 1 times charge, deals 170% damage to all enemies. All allies get plus 30% attack for 3 turns. 2 times charge deals 300% damage to all enemies. All enemies get negative 34% defense for 3 turns. And at 3 times minor charge deals 335% damage to all enemies. All allies get plus 50% attack for 4 turns. All enemies get negative 44% defense for 4 turns. If that happens, this is what will happen to you. You will be crushed like a watermelon. Sir, you have talent. Now, I know what you're thinking. It's kind of sketch to put something like that in a video like this. But I don't know if you realize she was in movies such as Quadfather Part 4, Quadzilla vs. Kong. I mean, I don't know if you realize, but she's squatting 415 for 8 reps easy. Look at those quads. She'll pop your head like a watermelon. Anyway, so let's talk about the setup here. So, Wolfgang Puck. Uh... Never quite hits home. I feel like there's always something lagging with his ability. Like, by the time you get his ability to go off, he's already dead. Or you dispel him. He just never quite lasts long enough to be a good tank. Decent flank, uh, but not really the tank that I think you want for this setup. So you need somebody that's going to help you survive a little bit longer. Who could that be? I always find... Holy, like, really tough uh, to have tanks. Because there's, like, I, I got a ton of holy heroes, but there's nobody that's, like, really good as a tank. Um, who would be a good setup for here? Maybe Hannah? Just because she's fast mana? Like, you need that ability to go off much faster than average speed. Um, who else? Maybe Micah, but again, like, ninjas in the charge. Hit or miss. Um... Kara is all right, but, you know, she's not really a tank situation. She's more of a flank. So maybe if you did this setup in, like, a reversal formation, then maybe um, that could be long enough to kind of get her to stay protected long enough to, you know, charge her up. But with that being said, offensively, I mean, you know, she's hovering there between an A and A+. Plus. Anybody that really has a charge, you can control them. You're really controlling the tempo of the match. Offensively, ridiculous. Defensively, I mean, that's kind of going to be another hit or miss situation. So anytime you have like a hit or miss situation on defense, I mean, you're, you're lucky if you really get like a B plus. You know, you're going to maybe repel if they get a bad board, but, you know, they, ha they have enough time to recover. So, you know, at this point, at limit broken... You know, even with those stats, maybe if her, her defense is a little bit higher to keep her alive a little bit longer. Uh, but I think at this point, you know, she gets a solid B+. Plus. Awesome hero nonetheless. I like her. Um, maybe paired with, uh, you know, somebody of the Six family. Might help out a little bit, but not a whole lot. So I like the character. Um, defensively. You know, not so much, but offensively, definitely she would get a spot in the hangar. So, yeah, I was wondering, what do y'all think about, uh, like, Holy Heroes for a tank? Who do you think is a good Holy Hero as a tank? I'm actually curious because I can't think of anybody that uh, that just stands out in my mind right now. You know, maybe if I think about it for a little while longer, someone will pop up. But, yeah, there's not too, uh, too many people that are uh, coming to mind. Um, even all these new characters. No, not that not that scary. Now, when I say not too scary, I just mean as a tank, but definitely scary in other positions. Uh, there's definitely, like, The Rock and co with the costume. You know, I think he's kind of kind of brutal if he goes off. But uh, as far as a tank, yeah, let me know what y'all think. Um, I'd like to know. Anyhow, uh, hope y'all had a good weekend, uh, and I'll catch y'all on the next one. Later, y'all.